question of whether you'll have to pay postage if you do vote by mail, that's still up in the air. Ohio's controlling board refused a request to have that matter heard on today's agenda. News 5's John Kosick with us live. Now, John, they will likely look at this in their next meeting, but that's not for another three weeks. Yeah, Rob, three weeks to that hearing, which is only three weeks roughly before those ballots will need to go out. Nevertheless, they are moving forward. When a voter in Ohio votes by mail, they have two options, physically return the ballot at the secure lockbox at their local board of elections or mail it in, but only after coming up with the proper postage. And a simple forever stamp doesn't always cut it. Return postage in Ohio in 2018 was 71 cents. Ohio Secretary of State Frank LaRose had hoped to ease the burden by asking the state's controlling board to let him use three million of his own money to pay the freight. The immediate hurdle was they missed the deadline for today's meeting, so last week LaRose asked voters to pressure their legislators. The ask is uh, to, to talk to the Senate President and the House Speaker and to ask them to put our controlling board uh, request on the agenda for Monday and to approve it. It also came with a late week push from four members of the state's Democratic congressional delegation. But at today's meeting, there was no item on the agenda. The board notifying the secretary that some of its members needed more time to do their due diligence on the request. The secretary of state's office tells News 5 they remain undaunted and will file the proper paperwork this week to make it on the board's September 14th agenda. But again, that is just 22 days before those first of those ballots will have to go out. So they need to be printed and shipped to the 88 county boards of elections for them to sort and put with the ballots that will be mailed out on October 6th. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kosick, News 5.